KD, oh. evening everybody. Whew, welcome to that was warm oh, under there. God. Welcome to the live show. We've just what moved. are you doing under there? Well, just warming up after my shower. What are you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on our road trip, aren't we? We're, oh yeah, I forgot that. Yeah. We're, in, we're in the hotel. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> in my bed. It's like the more of a wine show. This. Yeah. Um, we oh. thought we'd we'd film the uh, the Friday show. Oh, I've been crying. <laughs> yeah, nice singing by the way. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> a little bit creepy. A little bit creepy. I've been crying. But... Um, we've done each of us hair. Yeah, yeah. You made a nice job, Mark. Thanks. I, I, I'm sweating. Really? Yeah, and you've got to have a bath for that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Oh, right. Take mine off. You can take yours oh. off. It's the only thing you're taking off. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I ain't got anything else to take off. Game. <laughs> do it. Welcome to this week's Friday show. Something a little bit different. <laughs> I'm glad it's a little bit different to the norm. You know, if this was the norm, it'd be slightly oh, worrying. Do you know? So we spent we spent the day with the the lovely, yes, Pete and Helen Howlett. Yeah, wasn't it an amazing day? Such nice people. Yeah, they were so nice. They were. And so we're going to yeah. tell you a little bit about that. But Pete, if you're watching this, we love you. <laughs> we love you, and don't watch this. Yeah, if you're watching this, don't. We've been serious all day. Yeah. <laughs> he's not that serious, though. He's really funny. Pete, Pete was really funny, yeah. He, we've, we've had such a nice day with Pete. Yeah, and we've learned yeah. so much. And so that's the video we're going to put out soon, isn't give, it? Give him a little teaser oh. about what happens in it. Well, it's all to do with this baby, isn't it? Well, yeah, so we filmed the Revelator review, didn't we? Yeah. And um, I met Pete when I got this in Huddersfield. 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 And said, you know, oh, we'd love to come down and, and do an interview with you and stuff. And we kind of didn't do an interview because we just chatted. We just chatted, didn't we? We just chatted we? and Pete told stories and showed us around his studio. He's a real raconteur. He's yeah. got amazing stories. He has. Um, he showed us kind of the early origins yep. of the Revelator and how he got to where it was and... Um, how it's handed over to Carla, and but also showed us some really exciting projects that he's got on the go at the minute. Yes, that they're, they're not top secret, are they? But, no, I don't um, think. No, I don't but think. We they felt are, but we quite honoured to hear yeah. about them. But we'll we'll tell you in the actual video rather than now. Yes, got to keep some kind of suspense. Yeah, and his wife was lovely. I'm, they took. I'm, I'm out of breath because I've been laughing so much. Yeah, well, Andy just walked up some yeah. steps. I mean, that that only took us two minutes to film that intro. Not, yeah, straight not up. Twenty Boom. minutes of me corpsing. <laughs> With yeah, you and the pretending I'm not here. And um, oh, this is cosy, isn't it? It is, it's it's nice, nice, isn't it? Nice. Why, why, why don't, don't we do the Friday show like this all the time? From now on, we will. <laughs> we will. Get Sam here. In in bed with Katie and Paul oh, it's on got a Friday night. Hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, so we've had we've had a lovely day with Pete. Um, we're off to see Matt Stead tomorrow. We are. We're we? looking forward to that. Yeah. So um, that'll be really interesting. And so what what have we got coming? We've got a little bit of ukulele news this week. Yes. Um, so we're going to do that. We also, we posted our video of the joke, which was what was voted for last week. Right, yes. With no persuasion by myself. No. May I add? I but didn't vote for it. No, what did you vote for? I voted for Never Tear Us Apart. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Um, and um, so we posted a video of jokes, so we thought we would do a little in-bed tutorial. <laughs> That's what it needs. Of the joke. Um, yeah. And we're going to do something a bit different, aren't we? Because it's fairly simple chords. Yeah, so we're going to show some more... We're going to show different ones. inversions of the chords so you can have a little play along with it. Yeah. And um, I'm looking. I'm quite looking forward to that because my chord inversions aren't great. I play everything in first position. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully Paul knows what he's talking about. We'll see. Oh, but the stomach muscles hurt. Everything is hurting from laughing. Really? That's yeah. a good thing. That's a beautiful thing, Kev. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. It's been a day of laughter. All it around. has. It's been a lovely day. It's quite... um, we're going to play one of your videos as well. Yeah, I pop in. So, so that's going to be a bit in. weird, isn't it? I don't know which one we're going to play at the minute, so that's going to be a surprise for all of us. Yes. 
Yes, it, it'll and be that a is as normal, for all awesome of us. self full of guitar stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then Paul's going to give you all a talk about absolute and relative tuning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. After listening to the, the interesting James Hill it was, podcast. It was, James, it. it was a James Hill. I was tempted to do that on last week's Friday show. Mm. But go and watch the Utropolis podcast. Yeah. The, I think it's the latest one. Yeah. Um, all about tuning. And there's a really interesting bit about absolute and relative tuning that is too complex for us to cover because our brains nearly melted when we were just... When I was trying to tell you about it. Yeah. Your it brain well. nearly melted. It did nearly melt. Yeah. Um, but then James explained it pretty well. He explains it better than I did. So I think yeah. the best thing is go and watch that podcast. Yeah. It's really good. So we listened to that on our travel. We've been in the car for about 12 hours over the last two days, haven't we? We have, yeah. We've still got a long drive tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, so that's our that's our that's what's going show on. for this week. Should we do the news? Let's do the news. Line up for... I love this, the... UFOGB. The UFOGB. The Ukulele Festival of Great Britain. Yeah, the lineup has been announced, and that's partly why we're seeing yeah. Matt tomorrow, but other than that, Matt's a great guy to see, and he's very knowledgeable about ukuleles. So yeah. I have a picture here of the poster that's gone out, and there's some amazing people playing. I mean, Tell us who's on there, Paolo. Tell us well, who's on there. everybody's commenting on what an incredible lineup it is. So the, um, I'll just go through the They've clearly not here. seen that tiny little name down the yeah, bottom. Yeah, it's an amazing lineup of me. <laughs> um, it, so, well, so first announcement, Paolo Mansolo. Is that is that what you're going to go as on the billing? No, I think I'll use my name, <laughs> if that's all right. So, but don't, don't say I'm first, because... You know, Paul, Paul is playing, and we playing. are delighted for you. And I'm honoured to be Not playing. at all slightly jealous. Yeah. Delighted. Yeah. But um, me, Abby and Bongo Boy are going. Yes. We're going to go to it. We're going to We're going to sit on the front row. Yeah. Right in right in the centre. Right in front of you when yeah. you're playing. And do you know what's going to happen? You're going to learn something. I'll, I'll tell you what's going to happen. <laughs> you're you're going to come on stage. Yeah. The audience are going to go quiet. The lights have come down. Yeah. You're going to sit on stage. You're going to pick up your ukulele. You're going to smile at us. And at that point, you're going to notice... That I've got a ukulele, out, <laughs> yeah. and I'm poised. And you're pleased to see I'm me. I'm poised to play along. Yeah. Uh, let's get on to the the <laughs> real stars yeah, of the show. On. So we've got James Hill and um, oh, I have to put uh, my glasses on for this for um, and Anne Janelle. Now I believe that is the um, the cello player. Is it, is it girlfriend or wife? Wife. Wife. I believe she plays the cello, doesn't she? I think and okay. double bass. I think I've had the pleasure of seeing her before, actually. So they're pretty much well. I'm not going to say they're the big names because there's lots of big names, but James Hill and they are Anne. The big names. They're they are the big. Yeah. So I mean that's a coup getting them, isn't yeah. it? They're almost as big as my head in that town. <laughs> yeah, that's which was huge. Big. We've got Jeff Peterson, who is um, I think he's more known actually as a slack key guitarist but he's okay. um, <coughs> that's his main thing um, yeah. but very good ukulele player Exciting. Yeah. as well um, we've got the Quiet American I'm sorry I don't know who the Quiet American is no so we're looking forward to finding out yes definitely Andrew and Jay Molina I've seen them yeah they're not live I've seen them a lot on YouTube and they're really good yeah um, the Jive Aces I've, I've seen some comments on Matt's post, people looking forward to seeing yeah, the jive aces. I've seen a lot of positive posts about that. I think anything that has jive in the title is going to be fun. Jive Bunny, is that fun? I love I, <laughs> really? I loved jive Bunny. I'm being careful of my swearing because Pete might be watching. Ah, uh, yes. And also, um, I've got to edit this and I don't want to yeah. load the in, but I love jive Bunny. You beep. Love them. Yeah, love um, them. What's this one? Bisky Brisket? This is a service announcement, just to say that it's pronounced Bisky Brisk. I knew that, but Paul led me down an avenue of calling them Bisky Brisket. It's Bisky Brice. Thank you very much. Bis- now, Bisky Brisket, you know, I've seen you. twice, um, but both times at the Gunnup Festival this year. And You said they were awesome. They, Yeah, I really enjoyed them. Really, really enjoyed them. Um, mainly use a guitar and lately rather than ukulele. Yeah. But I think they hadn't necessarily played that many ukulele festivals. Right. So maybe they might introduce, if you're watching, might introduce ukulele. Yes. I think, I, I seem to remember Matt said he saw them at. Yeah. You know, and Matt was in um, the same gig as I was. I didn't yeah. Didn't speak to him in that gig because I didn't really know him. I was a bit shy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, bless. But I spoke to him later on at the festival. Yeah. And, forced um, yourself on him, didn't you? I did force myself on him. 
you can talk. <laughs> and um, they, I really enjoyed those. So good one. I would definitely recommend going to yeah. see them. And then it just keeps on coming with all the, the brilliant players. Samantha Muir, um, amazing classical player. I mean, she's going to be a highlight for me watching her. Um, Matt Hicks. I don't know Matt, but I've seen him on YouTube and he's very good. Yeah. Um, the Corner Laughers. I don't know the Corner Laughers. Oh. So that's new when I meet Four String Boy. Four String Boy, Sammy. Our, our friend Sammy is going to be there. I'm, I'm obviously looking forward to going to see Sammy. I might, you know. I am because I've never seen yeah. him. Should we go crash his gig with ukuleles as Definitely. well? Definitely appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a good one. I can, I I can. Yeah, do a couple of harmonics. Yeah. Oh, perfect. He would love that. Um, so that's really good. Katie Vernon, I've seen her on YouTube. She's very good as well. Yeah. And the, here's a guy you might have heard of, Phil Dolman. He's played a few festi festivals all <laughs> this time, hasn't he? Sarah Kelly. Don't know who don't Sarah, know Sarah Kelly is, so no. I don't find, find out. Find we'll out. talk to Matt tomorrow about some of the artists exactly. we don't know. Exactly. Never we'll probably go. Oh, yeah, we do know. Here's so, a good one that I'm looking forward to, Warehouse of Thieves. Yeah, you're a big fan. I am a big fan. I love their last EP that boy. we've used. Um, I'm also looking forward to it because um, I've spoke to Matt Warns a lot. I've interviewed him on Zoom. I've chatted You're going to tell Zoom. me you've never met him? I've never met him. I've never actually met Matt. Matt. if you're watching this, because occasionally Matt does watch. Good old Comments Matt. on the comments. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh, Paul talks about you as if Paul, he's met yeah. you many times. He talks about, no, he talks about you like you're literally his best mate. Do you know why that is? Because You haven't got a best mate, that's why. Uh, yeah, that spot's vacant if anybody's interested. Um, <laughs> don't have high. Um, no, I'm all of that. what I love about Matt is a he's a great musician, b he's a ukulele player. He's got awesome music taste. He likes the same music as me, and we all know yeah. that I have awesome music taste. Um, so yeah, that's going to be. I, I can't get over. You've never met him, the man. <coughs> Honestly, he, he talks like you're his brother. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be a good. Um, Alex Beds. Alex Beds. You know Alex. Well, I don't really know Alex. Oh, you talk like you... I'd I, I like, like to want to know is. Alex, but Alex, I don't think Alex is, is watching us, so... Oh, well. Not well, you know, that's fine. He's a very busy yeah. man. But um, I do like Alex a lot because I like his videos. Yes. And I like his songs and I really, really enjoyed his album. That yeah, he I know you that, didn't you? So um, I'm very much looking for... I like a singer-songwriter and Alex, I think, is very much a singer-songwriter. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing Alex there. There's some great names still to come. This one I'm very excited about. Um, this is Elizabeth Pfeiffer, who I have met. So have I. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that burst your bubble, yeah, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did, didn't it? I had a good chat um, with Elizabeth, and um, I loved her performance. Am I allowed to say that you thought she was the best at Gunnerf? Um Yeah, she was, she was up there. Yeah. Um, She's a she, phenomenal player. I, I just I enjoyed her set in the afternoon in the theatre so much. Yeah. And it was to me it was all about the tone that she the tone she mm. got out of the instrument. Yeah. I sat in a pub with her once and she got out her ukulele and played and it was it was just <laughs> what amazing. You going with that, yeah. It? And yeah, she I, she's going to be a highlight for me. Yeah. She really is. Uh, the next gentleman is very good. Uh, I'm going to call him a raconteur, Percy Copley. Great yeah. player, great raconteur as well. Um, do you know what a raconteur means? I do. It's someone who tells great stories. Yeah, just checking. <laughs> what, what, you think I'd use big bit. words? Do you think I'm Russell Brand and try to use big words? Whoa, whoa, I don't know what they mean. Well, don't. We'll get cancelled. <laughs> we will, won't we? Yeah. yeah. But um, the next one, I'm very excited. You can guess who the next one is if I'm really excited is about it. Is it you? <laughs> okay. No, no. But alphabetically, he's the same as me. PM. It's Pete Moss. Oh, Pete Moss, yeah. And um, so I'm really excited to see yeah. Pete. That's fantastic. Then it's little old me. And I, I am in a sandwich. I'm in a Pete Moss Mark Gallagher sandwich on here. Which well, what, what better place is there to be? I'm the filling. What better sandwich. place is there to be? And Mark I'm looking forward to, because Mark I've never met, but I've always liked. He, Mark's interesting because he's, he's, he's kind of like a singer and player, but his playing is phenomenal, which yeah. I like. Then it's being emceed, is that the right word? Yeah, I th well, yeah, I think so. Compared. Emceed by Mims. Mim, from Mims Music. Mims, that's why I said Mims, I do um, it. Who, I don't MC think either of us ever met. No. Or no. But, I but everyone says she's lovely. Yeah, and everybody talks about her ukulele yeah. shop. And everyone seems excited that she's coming over to do it, so. 
So that is an amazing line. It's line-up. a you, great lineup, isn't it? You know it? the only thing that makes me sad about that lineup? I'm not on it. No, that's not it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Did you genuinely think that's what I thought? Because it's yeah, not. I did. Too. What makes me sad is that the guy who's organising it, Matt Stead, he's not playing. playing. And I love Matt's playing. He's Matt's underrated as the player. Is that I don't. I mean, he's highly thought of as a player, but to me, he's really good. Yeah. And he's not playing, but you can't really run a festival like that and play. I'm I'm excited for it because I had I had a really nice time at Gnuff. We need a big ukulele festival. The, the mm. other ukulele festivals are fantastic. Yeah. But that that really big festival, I'm you know I'm excited to have that. Yeah, I'm I am, and Matt. You know these things. It depends who runs them, doesn't it? But Matt's running it, so it will be beautiful. It will yeah. be, it'll be well run. Um, it will be, I think, well attended. I don't. Maybe we can ask tomorrow. Ask Matt tomorrow how many tickets he sold. But yeah. I would guess there, there seems to be a buzz about it on social media. It does, yeah. And all the players seem. You know, I've spoken to a number of players. Um, that I haven't you all got a WhatsApp group or something? We have, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've spoken to a number of players. Have you edged okay. your way into that WhatsApp group then? Infiltrated, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, and they're all so excited to mm. be going and doing it. I think they all are all genuinely excited. It's going to be, I mean, what a lineup! It's going to be a great festival. There's there's loads of people there that I just really want to see. Yeah, yeah, um, excited. Well, we'll find out more about the festival tomorrow, and mm. there'll be videos coming out on that at some point. We're going to have so months. much to talk to Matt about because he's got an album coming out. Yeah, he's got a book coming out. He's got loads of interesting nukes at the Ute Room. He's got he's got everything coming out. He's got everything. Like, he's he's got everything. There's not a day goes past and Matt hasn't released something recently. I mean, I, again, I'm talking like I'm, I know Matt. And I I've know met him Matt. once. I know Matt. I've met him once for a very brief, brief conversation. I've known really, his favourite band though. I'm really. Do you know what I like about the ukulele world most? Me? No. Is that we meet people sometimes that you know. Yeah. And we say, quite often you're not there because you're a bit lazy. And we say, you know, oh, you know Paul Mansell, don't you? And Do they, they just go... Mm. They just look blank. Yeah. They look blank. And then we describe you and they look like they might have stumbled across you at some point. And then do they and come then over quite I, angry? I become quite friendly with them. Yeah. And we end up good mates. Yeah, and I'm shoved and out of the picture. shoved out of the picture, yeah. Yeah, there's an, I like you're that. like a, a cuckoo. Aren't you? Really? You're you're a ukulele cuckoo equivalent stealing my Are you thinking of a magpie? <coughs> I think I have got it's that analogy wrong. It's magpies that steal things, cuckoos. So cuckoos wood. put their eggs in other nests, don't Do, they? Oh, well, you're I, doing that. <laughs> you're, putting, you're putting your eggs in my nest. Right, shall we and I'm raising your children. Shall we move on? Yes, what was the other news? <laughs> Have you parked and you're letting it out? No. Um, I told you the news was it was um, it was released. I saw it on Facebook this week, and we thought we'd mention it because it is news mm-hmm. that the Southern Ukulele store is moving. Yes, um, they're staying down they're south. They're, <laughs> they're, they're staying in Bournemouth. <coughs> um, I think me. they're moving about six miles away. It was either six miles or six minutes. I think Alex said right um, on his little video to sort of the other side of Bournemouth. And they are moving to Absolute Music, right? Which is a company that I've known for years and years and years, mm. um, because they basically sell everything, right? Um, musical and lots of recording equipment and things like that as well. And um, they are moving. I think they have this kind of complex, of Absolute Music, that's kind of almost like a a music retail complex. Yeah. And I think they're moving into part of that building. So I don't think they're becoming part of Absolute Music right. from what I can see online. I think they're just literally moving. Yeah. Um, which I think for them it must be really exciting because it looks like a very flash mm, I'm sure modern be. building. Um, and I think there's been building problems with the old building and there's scaffold, scaffolding up and you can't even see the, the, the ukulele shops there, I think someone said. Yeah. And... Um, Yes, I think. Plus, also being in that environment where you've got all those musical people around and, yeah, and buzz, different music it? retailers, and so yeah, they're moving and they're moving. Which now, I mean, I, I've worked in retail for quite a number of years in my past. Yeah. Um, and 
they are shutting on the Saturday, I think, and reopening on the Monday. Ooh. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you yeah, mad? Yeah, that's a lot of work. Are you crazy? But then, to be fair, they're probably just more organised than you are. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to do shop refits. Anyway, that's a whole... I've got another bit of news uh, I forgot Only to mention. Only a couple, but... Uh, Lisa Webb, she's a good player and singer. Very <laughs> <classy>. <laughs> this is your news. This is my news. That's <laughs> not the news. Lisa Webb, she's... she's a good player. No, no, I'm, I'm just doing a, a gentle introduction to yeah. Lisa Webb. If you haven't heard it, she... Do you want I think some she's... musical background going on? Yeah, go on. I think she's an Ohana artist, and she's got a book out. I think it's just called Ukulele Etudes. I'll try and find out more about that. But um, if the book's anywhere near as good as her playing, I'm sure it'll be good. So there you go. Never bit of news. Thank you for backing me up on that. That's what I'd say. Those chords I was playing are two very nice chords, aren't they? What two? Are you playing the two that I showed you a minute ago? No. Uh, what are you playing? What do you think I'm playing? You're playing a G G major six. Nope. I give up. G major seven, because that's your G. Oh, that's what I mean. G then. major seven. Yeah. G major seven. Yeah. To a C major seven. Oh, major seven. Lovely little jazz bossa nova chords. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You're good, aren't you? There you, you go. go. You're better when you're in my bed. <laughs> That sounds weird. <laughs> Get rid of that bit. Don't say that bit. It sounds yeah. weird. It's our bed, Paul. <laughs> it's, our, <laughs> it's not. It's my bed. It's not. It's our bed. You know we share. Infiltrated your way in like you have with my friends. You know we've had to cut costs on the channel recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, should we do this little tutorial? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do this tutorial. Do if um, if you're in the comments this week, because we, we <coughs> like to go live and go on the comments. Yes. Although, who knows where we'll be tomorrow at half nine. We might oh, be home. Yeah. I hope we're home. Yeah, oh God. Well, In our shared right. house. <laughs> yeah. We're like, um, we're like the Bucket family, aren't we? Normally, I was going to say we're like the Monkeys. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was I saying? If you're in the live chat. If you're in the live chat, I do hope you've put some funny comments on this week. Yeah. Because if you haven't, we will. Yeah. Um, so, we put our video of the joke out, which, um, to great success... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> all round I say, this, I say this every time that we put a video out, but um, it's doing well. It's got quite a few hits. Yeah, I, the thing I really like about it is that, like last week when we said, "What video do you want us to put out?" and I kind of hinted that hinted that the joke was my favourite because it is mm. it's my favourite all time song. Yeah, and I'd never heard it. I, well, that was the thing, and most people hadn't heard it. I mean, to be honest, I thought it was why Belinda yeah. Carlisle. Brandy Carlyle, Brandy Carlyle, Brandy Carlyle, another one of my famous artists at the minute, possibly famous or favourite, both. I can't remember what I was saying, and um, and yeah, loads of people kind of voted for it. I think out of my enthusiasm for it, yeah, and um, but didn't know it, and they said, well, I don't know it, but I'm going to vote for the joke, yeah, because it sounds great from my description, and. I really liked that. I really liked that we're introducing people to a song. Mm. And um, that is a nice thing. It's, yeah, yeah, introducing someone something that you love is a beautiful thing, yeah. isn't it? The other thing on that video, which we're going to play the video, just so that if you haven't watched it, we're forcing it <laughs> yeah. down your throat. Yeah. I think that's fair enough. You will watch yeah. it. You will watch it now, and yeah. you will comment. And if if you have seen it, you'll watch it again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got quite authoritative then. You did, didn't you? And uh, you love that, don't you? Yeah. And um, you pay for that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I say I wouldn't. I'll leave that in. And um, anyway, and what we're oh, I'm, 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 I'm giddy tonight. I'm giddy. Yeah, you're giddy. I am giddy. Oh, you're a and child. Have you had Haribo or something? <laughs> I've just had some very nice Korean chicken at the mm. pub next door. Yeah, food and a pint. Yeah, I've Welsh rare bit. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, right. So the joke. I this is what I was going to comment. So the end of the joke where we do a bit of a mashup. Yeah. Which not you have to go and watch the proper video if you want to see the end mashup. Yeah. That brought a little tear to my eye, and I know it did to yours as well. You think I was being serious when I said that? No, you were being serious. Being serious. And um, do you know what I love about it? Um. That me, Nikki, Fern, and Abby have all been singing throughout. Yeah, and we, we've got. Oh, I know fans. what you're going to say. Yeah, and you and Bongo Boy. Yeah, can't help but sing along in the mashup at the end. Yeah, and you look so happy. 
your little faces. You look so. I thought I look quite damn angry. happy. Well, look quite no, angry. that's not your, your angry lady face. Looks like you're an axe murderer. Really? No, no that's no. that was your happy face. If you if you're not yeah. sure. I sometimes feel left out of the whole singing bit, you see. So sort of, yeah, which yeah. you do sing from time to time, don't you? Yeah, not with Anarchy, because Anarchy's yeah. littered with amazing singers. I'll be honest, we just don't believe that you can do two things at once and play me ukulele. <laughs> and, I mean, I'll be honest, with you, you're brilliant solo, but with Anarchy, you struggle to play, don't you? Yeah, it's the nerves. It's, yeah. You guys make me nervous. You do, yeah. That's what it is. And Yeah, so we don't believe you can do two things at once. But if you keep practising hard... If, yeah, then what? Then we, then we won't let you sing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, let, let, you, we'll let you mime. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, but no, you were singing along, you I looked was. so happy. Yeah, my right, moment. this show is going to be three hours long if we don't get on with it. Yes. Um, who's doing the tutorial? You shall, do shall it. I go through the course because you, you course, don't know them? Because I don't know them, but then I'll tell... Okay, right. Course for the joke. What I play over the top. The... Intro is the same as the verse. So we're covering many birds with one stone. Right. And in fact, the chorus, the start of the chorus is also the same yeah. as the verse of the intro. So we start with the D chord, which goes with the line, feeling nervous, aren't you, boy? Yep. Then we go to an A minor seven chord. That's a hard one. Yeah. So that all open? Then we go to a G chord. So these are just your standard first position chords. Yeah. Um, and that's the start of your verse. After you do that <coughs> twice, I think it is, when you get to that G chord, you then go to a G minor chord, which I love. Yeah, I that's love a nice changing thing. the the four your fourth chord as in D being your first chord, G is chord four. Yeah. I love changing that from a major to a minor. Yeah. You can also you can do a minor seven. Can do G minor seven, but for ease we'll do G minor today. Okay. Um, so they're the chords that go with the verse, and they go with the chorus. So give us a little plan. Let's go do on. it. So oh, one, two. Oh, am I doing two, it as well? Five. A minor seven. G. round and round when you get to the chorus starts with the same thing but when you get to the G you're going to put the G minor sweet in there as well now there's also after you do that you put your G minor in you go back to the D and then you go to an F sharp to the G which if I'm playing the F sharp barred yeah I know what you're going to say I tend to slide up to the D nice and then to the G minor again. So the chorus, let's do the chorus so I can put up what order the chords are. Okay. A minor, seven. G. G minor. Back to the D. Then to the F sharp. Such a it's such a nice chord sequence. Cause you've you've got everything I love in a chord sequence. You've got going from the G to the G minor. Yeah. That's so that fourth change I love. Going from the D to the F sharp. Yeah. What a beautiful chord that is. Um it's a bit like combining some of our favourite songs all in one. There's there's a lot of creep in yeah. there. Yeah. Um there's a lot of the same chords to Vampire, which is the last video that we put out in there. Yeah. Um, but that D is great. Yeah, there's a little bit of um, Don't Go Back in Anger, which goes F major to F minor. Every week are you going to say this? Well, that fascinates me that bit. <laughs> so she got but, that cheeky um, little chromatic, yeah. there, which is nice. Yeah, but so, um, yeah, really nice set of chords. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the video to that yeah and I will put the chords on there as well like it looks like I'm going to be up all night yeah I hope, you, hope you can not sleep not in here you're not hope you can sleep me <laughs> typing away <laughs> and um, 
<laughs> and you, you know, have a play along or give it a try because yeah. it's a beautiful song. You won't regret it. It um, it'd be great. I'd love to see ukulele groups taking on that song. Oh, wouldn't it just beautiful be, yeah. song? Beautiful yeah. song. Um, so yeah, the joke. I tell you what, let's play that now. Have a play along. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Do you want to talk about calling versions? Ah, oh, just <laughs> trying. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. I forgot about chord inversions. Well, I think... This three hour long show. Yeah. Um, I think what we do a lot in the band is if we've got two people playing chords, we have them do them in different positions because yeah. it thickens them up. And then maybe one person picking them a little bit. Yeah. Um, the, the D, 2220, when I'm playing it over the top of what Nicky was playing, I do what I call a Johnny Marr chord. Because uh, this is one of his favourite chords. So I so do, what are you doing? You, you I'm doing seven six par- five zero. Partial bar? Or, or, no, nope, so you're... no bar at all. So really a D should be like that. So if you take a, a B flat chord or a C chord, <coughs> Pardon take me. a yeah. barred C chord and move it up to, obviously it could C, C sharp D. Okay. So just just give me give me the string numbers there. You're doing seven seven six five five. Seven six five. So you are partial barring. You lied no, to no, me. No, because I I gave you that version, but what I actually do is lift that up, so I get this beautiful little A in there. So I'm getting the you double get, A, you get double A, double A, which is really reverby. Don't do that. Do that, because listen to do it. That. Don't do that. It's gonna clash with your tune. Then. Heaven knows I'm miserable. Do a partial bar. It's much nicer. Um, you can obviously, you could just go on the D. You could just add a, an octave. There, okay. D there. So I like that. So you're you're doing a D up yeah. there. Nice. Brace yourself for the A minor seven that I do. So obviously oh, the A minor seven. Stupid A minor seven. I do a seven. beautiful A minor seven. The nice thing is if you do an A minor seven Ooh. open, you can do a bit of a Sammy. Use your hand Ooh, and a few nice. cheeky little. We yeah. did that in one. What was the one that we did harmonics in? I don't know, but yeah. our audience don't care. No, no. But I do for an A minor seven. Obviously, you can do the easy one, but you can do two, four, three, three. So two, four. So what fingers are you? So I'm using. So you're doing little, little um, finger there, right? First you? finger, pinky. Oh, that's. It's hard, cool. That's hard. Yeah, it's uh, it is hard, but. Show show that to the camera. So, two, four. so I'm doing two, and then my four is on the E. My three is on a G, no, my two is on a G, and my three is on a C. So it is a difficult one, but because obviously a minus seven, you, you know, that's a D minus yeah. seven, and a minus seven is just a bar. So it is much harder, but boy, is that a pretty chord. You're trying to work, you're double checking it's an A minus seven. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it, Absolutely. Yeah, well, it's an A minor with another G, isn't it? So. Quite, it's hard either way. Yeah, it is a tricky yeah. chord, um, but it's nice. But you can as well. <laughs> if you're going to it, you can, you can, because yeah. you're going to it from an A minor. You can kind of do both. Yeah. To give yourself time. I mean, we're 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 putting these in to add a bit of texture. If there's yeah. more than one player, yeah, it works really nicely, doesn't it? Okay, right. So, A minor. What are you doing for your G? Uh, it was a G chord. I was doing it up the neck. Ooh, you you're going right up high. Right up the neck. Right there. And you're going... So I'm doing 7, 7, 7, 10. Yeah, 7, 7, 7, 10. Yeah, so that's a nice one. And you can... I like doing a little hammer on from G major 7 to a G. That's pretty. Nice. Um, what's next? G minor. G minor. Zero, triple, ten. Nice. Yeah, I like that. It's been cool. lovely because you get in the really yeah, nice... Yeah, low... If you've got a low G anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that. Um, what's next? The F sharp. F sharp. The F sharp. I just. Um, I would. Well, you can basically go one lower than the G. Yeah. There. So you're at six, six, six. Yeah. Um, nine. Again, show the camera. Just say six, 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 nine. And then just slide up one for your final G to there. Which is nice. And then you still get that nice chromatic. Oh, six, yes, I, I was the wrong thing. Six, 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 nine. Yeah, yeah. The, so uh, there's another another quite nice way to do a G minor actually. Oh God! Which is um, three two three five. Three two. So a bit of a stretch, but bit of a stretch. Three two three five. Three yeah. two three five. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. First it's chord. It's a bit of a stretch, it's isn't a it? Nice sweet chord. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Up. I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I'm, we should do more chord inversions should because do some way. I've learnt a few things from you, know. That doesn't happen very often. No, not what? You admit it. It's great when you've got two people playing though, or in a band situation, yeah. when you've both got the same chord, if one of you can just do it somewhere else. Yeah. Um, I'm getting tired. Yeah. <sighs> Should we wrap this up? Because the audience are really getting tired. Yeah, come on, sweet cheeks. <laughs> um, You're feeling nervous, aren't you, boy? With your quiet voice and impeccable style. Don't ever let them steal your joy and your gentle ways to keep them from running wild. They can kick dirt in your face. Dress you down and tell you that your place is in the middle When they hate the way you shine I see you tugging on your shirt Trying to hide inside of it And hide how much it hurts
Yeah. Um, so, okay. So, we've got one of your videos to play. We yeah. don't know what it is. No, and no, I can't remember. Bongo Boy. <laughs> Roll. Bongo Boy. Bongo Boy. <laughs> He's been down a long time. It's going to be so hot. Roll VT. Yeah. Hello, everybody. I uh, thought I'd drop in and say hi and tell you what I've been up to this week. Uh, this week, I saw on the news one of these. A cigar box guitar. Three-string guitar made out of the cigar box. I bought this one off one of my students. He bought it and didn't like it. So I said, I'll have that off you. Um, nine sort of uh, days out of ten, it just hangs on my wall. Very rarely gets picked up because they, they just look so cool. I mean, isn't that a cool looking thing? But um, I saw this program that was talking about a meeting where loads of people, hundreds of people got together just like a festival and played these. And I thought, you know what, I'll, um, I'll dig mine out and have a little go on it. So I thought you might want to hear it. It's not plugged in, but you should, uh, you should hear it fine anyway. Uh, here we go. go that's what they sound like aren't they absolutely awesome you can distort them when you run them you can uh, play a slide on it really cool thing so maybe that's something that i should actually learn to play other than that i've been uh, a lot of my students do exams i always um recommend vcm victoria college of music that as an exam board um a couple of reasons firstly i did my music diploma with them on the ukulele. Um, secondly, Colin Tribe, who runs it. Um, I know Colin, great, great guy, great arranger, great player, great examiner as well. Um, and VCM are just, you know, if you're looking to take exams on the ukulele, I highly recommend them. One of my students is taking grade five at the moment. And uh, one of the grade five pieces is Amazing Grace, which is taken from Colin's book, English Folk Tunes. It's a really nice arrangement actually of it. It starts off as um, it starts off as uh, melodic and then it becomes chord melody mixed with a bit of arpeggios um, and it works really well so I thought you might like to um, hear it. So this is um, Amazing Grace. a pretty little arrangement so if anyone's interested in that it's taken from um, Colin's book English Folk Tunes I did review this on my own channel a couple of um, years ago um, Colin's got well Colin's done lots of books and um, he's also done an American Folk Tunes for ukulele which um, I'm going to do a review of in the future nice to see you all enjoy the rest of the live show bye now right um, that was awesome. That was. I still don't know what it was. <laughs> Have you not watched it? I mean, oh. I've got Bongo Boy gave me a hard drive with two videos of yours on there. Right. I've got to pick one of them. Oh, okay. I don't know what's on there. I don't know. I don't know what's on there. So we'll we'll find out. Um, but I loved it. I loved every second <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, me too. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this slightly different in bed with Paul yeah, and KD. That's got a ring to it. We might do that. We might do this again. I tell you, next time we do this. 
What, get in bed together? We, we'll do a live stream one. Scared by that. Yeah? Scared by that. Yeah? Let's yeah, we get something, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and touch yeah, him under the covers. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <dear. laughs> He's off. <coughs> oh, I can't cope. Um, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, our channel, it's not car crash at all, is it? No. It's... It's total car crash. It's... it's well thought out and planned, it I is. think it is. This one especially, yeah. This one. Right, I, I can't sleep. In oh. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? This is what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're doing something, do you ever stop and think, oh, how many people are doing this in the world at the moment? Because <laughs> there's no one else think, doing this in the world at the moment. I think there's no one in the whole world doing this at the moment. Yeah. No rush, it's not warm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm God. crying. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Feeling nervous about your boy. How do you can do this? <laughs> I've got to stop breathing too heavily. <laughs> So focused then. <laughs>